<laughs> hey, let's be uh, redundant. If you like rainbows, comment below. <laughs> So here we have our warm bond, the bond stove. <clears throat> Not sure if that's a double seven bond, but the best kind of bond ever. You can see it's all nice and neatly packaged up. It comes with a cover and it's also got this really cool carrying case, which Velcros all together. It even has pockets on the side to put other stuff in if you're trying to carry it. So great presentation and as always it comes with a great book on shows you all the details. The storage and carrier case it shows us how to do all that fun stuff. It does come with wheels but they didn't send wheels because um, we didn't really want the wheels. Um, not quite sure what salty guidelines are but <laughs> I think it's probably safety guidelines and um, it could be salty and this shows you what accessories come with it so it actually does come with a really nice barbecue set that's on top and it's got the uh, fire view window and it shows you how quickly and easily it goes together it's not much to it if you can use a screwdriver and um, you understand left is loose and right is tight um, it goes right on so Pretty cool stuff, and of course, you know, you gotta love it when it's got pictures of one of our favorite places to be, which is in the mountains. So now, gonna take a moment, set the camera down, and we'll open it. We'll just remove our warm bond barbecue set, and then just unwrap it. And it just takes a couple seconds to pick it up. Move it over just a little bit. This is not a lightweight, aluminum stove or a cheaply made thin metal stove it's actually got some process to it it actually feels heavy and nice and in the video Don was trying to figure out what to do with the ring that comes around it so I just improvised a little bit and left the uh, piece of foam that the ring comes in and put it on top so that'll stay with us and then here is our really cool crystal glass ring. Made of crystal glass, just like uh, the windshield on the SR71. Always when you're working with the foam, you're gonna have a little residue come over. Um, here's the uh, dent that she was referring to in the video. And uh, it doesn't seem to have affected other than the fact it just took off a little bit of the powder coating and so there's gonna be a potential rust here. And um, we contacted Warm Bond and they're gonna send us another one just so that we have the com full complete set. But you can see where it's heated up and rusted a little bit on this side. Um, and so then we just start pulling it off. So there's our cover. Oh, and look, the handle's tight. And then here's our cooking grill. So, we had it sitting down in the ashes from the first burn. So we take this, put this down, and now it's time to load our, well, at this point, we're gonna use it as a stove, so uh, we'll be cooking hot dogs, so I gotta get some charcoal bricks and we'll get started. Also, they sent us these really cool fire starter rings, and uh, they just take them apart, and it shows you with instructions how to use them, and it's a piece of rope that has been soaked in kerosene and they have them six at a time and you just put them in and light them and uh, hi I'm Instafire that's cute so we're not gonna use those today we've got some charcoal that's ready to go so we're gonna load that charcoal up right now and we're gonna put it into the holder but Below the holder is the ash bin or ash tray that catches all the ash so you don't have it run everywhere. 
so it makes cleanup a breeze to get it done. And so we're gonna load up some charcoal here. These things have more jet fuel in them than most jets I've flown. <laughs> Kerosene, gotta love it. All right, we're gonna light it off and see what comes back in just a few minutes. And here's some fire. Now we're just gonna wait a few minutes, wait for it to cook on and start to ash and then we know we're close to cooking time. One of the other cool things they give you is they give you a set of handles that are designed to go into your glass, crystal glass ring and pick it up and remove it if you have to or if you want to change your views. So we're waiting for it to cook on and heat up but I'm gonna set the grill on top of it anyway. And now, We'll start to make some heat. We'll start to make some fire. Cook some food. Got some chili cheese hot dogs in our future. There ain't no meat in it. Oh, no meat. They also give this really cool heavy duty leather glove. And of course, we'd like to thank Warm Bond for letting us evaluate their stove and giving us all this cool stuff to try out. Um, if you're looking for a stove that's also a barbecue or a stove that's also a heat ring, like some of those other stoves. Um, this looks like it's a great uh, combination of the two. And even with my big hand, the glove fits. Um, probably in Caitlin's world or Dawn's world, <laughs> this glove's about five sizes too big. But for me, it's just right. I like it. And just a quick note, I'd like to say uh, thank you to all those that uh, helped out while I was gone, um, taking care of a loved one dealing with cancer, all I can say is cancer sucks. Um, we really appreciate all the well wishes and all the things that were uh, said and done for us. Um, well, I had to take care of issues. Um, probably not gonna be able to cure the cancer, but we'll be able to manage the cancer and keep my dad around a little bit longer. So again, we'd like to say thank you to everyone who uh, wished us well on our YouTube and our Facebook pages where most of the stuff was posted. If you're not following along, make sure you follow us on nutandadventured.com. That's our web page, and uh, that's where you find our blogs and all the other fun stuff. And uh, there's also a link on there to uh, join the Adventurers Club, which is better known around here as the Nang Gang. Uh, and we'd love to have you on board. Um, so look us up, find us, and follow. Thanks. Really appreciate you guys more than you know. We got fire. Fire. <laughs> fire. Uh. And now we're just waiting for all the charcoal to start to become white. Um, until then, it's still burning off some of that kerosene. And these things are soaked in a lot of kerosene. Um, mm. We're using the Royal Oak Minute Light charcoal bricks. And they work great. They just have a lot of kerosene on them. And if you don't want your hot dogs or hamburgers or any other food, to smell like kerosene or taste like kerosene. Um, I've had it in my mouth uh, refueling airplanes. It's not good. Um, you need to let them burn a little bit and let them get a little bit white. Um, the heat will quickly remove most of the kerosene and then we'll be ready to cook. So stand by. Um, I'm gonna make uh, some hamburger patties, I think, to go along with all this stuff. And uh, we'll come out and put a little uh, extra lubrication, some uh, olive oil spray onto the grill so nothing sticks, and uh, we'll be back in a few. One of the cool things is the way this is built. It actually comes with these really cool legs underneath it, and we currently have fire going on on the inside, and I'm actually able to put my hand underneath on this wooden table, and there's no heat whatsoever that's coming down through the table. So it gives you a lot of opportunity and versatility as to where you can use this. Um, I don't think I'd use it on a plastic table just because of this off chance. 
it might melt it, but on this wood table, it's absolutely perfect. So that's pretty awesome too. And now it's time to add a little of our olive oil cooking spray. Um, no, we're not sponsored <laughs> by Pam, don't we wish, but put a little on the grill. Gonna get a little flame out of it, keep fingers out of the way. And then we're going to add Easy dogs. And as always, one of the things you can count on is right in the middle of doing something important, even though you charge your batteries, the GoPro dies. So there's the stand, there's the camera, waiting for batteries to charge. But I put the bonnet on and I've got the glass ring on so we can see everything cooking. The hot dogs are doing great. I always like them to burn a little bit. And again, we're cooking. The stove is at temperature and I'm able to put my hand underneath it and it's cold to the touch on the table and there's no flame. So I've closed down the lid. So we're limiting the amount of air coming through. You can regulate this just like you would any other of the big stoves. The ones that start with a W or those kind of things. And we can control how much heat goes in and out how quickly we burn so let's see what it looks like inside Ooh, yeah it looks like perfect hot dogs how do you like your hot dogs medium well barely warm leave comments let us know how you like your hot dogs and hamburgers anything over medium bad shoe leather bad or good let us know in the comments so I cooked those hot dogs and nothing flat. Hamburgers taking their time because we want to have them slow cook. So I just took the cover off and I had the cover turned down. So I limited the amount of air inside. And you can see with the glass, crystal glass ring inside that it handles the heat just fine. My hamburgers are almost ready to turn. And uh, I mixed them down with a little bit of Firehole barbecue rub, their brisket rub. If you don't have some, you need to go to fireholebarbecue.com, see Julie and get some brisket rub. They've also got it for pork and chicken too. And uh, they've also got some incredible barbecue sauces. So here we go. Just a little turn. You can see the nice grill rings on inside. Um, how it's cooked just nice and even. And there's still an incredible amount of heat coming out of this little stove. And that was probably just maybe two cups of charcoal briquettes to do the cooking so we'll turn this back over put the lid back on it's a tight fit but once you get it on it fits perfectly so he says Ta -da! and we'll wait for the rest oh and then there's cheese to put on who doesn't like a little monterey jack and cheddar if you look closely, you can see the sear going on. Hamburger cooking down, and I'm just gonna open up the vent a little bit. Let some more heat out. Um, and then it's time to add the good stuff. How do you like your hamburgers? Well done, medium rare? What's in the middle? Do you like it pink? Do you like it red? <laughs> or shoe leather? Hey, leave a comment below and let us know what you think. We always appreciate your comments and uh, it's fun interacting with our community. It's getting bigger. Um, we just went over 3,700 subscribers um, and I'd like to thank all of you for being part of it um, and hope you uh, tag along for the adventures. Um, we're just coming out of the winter mode and there's plenty of travel to be had. One slice of cheese is just never enough. <laughs> do you like two slices? One slice? No cheese? Again, how do you like your hamburgers? Leave it in the comments below. From our hot dogs to our hamburgers, how do you like to eat it? Me, I'm pretty much seafood. Any of the food I see, I eat. Well, except when it comes to asparagus and squash, but we'll go into that later. Oh my goodness. 
while we're busy cooking, look way over there. Put the lid back on. I hope you guys can see that. That rainbow runs the entire gambit from one side to the other. And then if you look off into the distance, you can actually see some of the other less seen colors when it's not very bright. Um, you can see way more. And you can tell by our rainbow video in Yellowstone that we're big fans of rainbows. Um, we've seen them all over the country, some good, some bad. Um, we saw one in Florida after a big rainstorm that damaged some houses and stuff. Um, but most of them are good, so... <laughs> hey, let's be uh, redundant. If you like rainbows, comment below. <laughs> Ring's really helpful for collecting food. Just push it right up. Didn't even stick to it. Look, nothing over there. Deliciousness in hand. Um, we'll put the lid on it and just let it cook and see how long it lasts um, with hot coals. So uh, I'll put the lid on. We'll burn down the grill here. Hopefully, it'll take most of this off. And there you go. Inside to eat. You. Well. I've had time to actually eat dinner, enjoy the hot dogs and the hamburgers. Um, it's been an hour since we cooked those. You can tell maybe by the beautiful sunset over here we got going on to the west. And uh, the crazy thing about it is, is that our cool little burner is just doing really well. It's still nice and hot inside. And one of the other things they give you with this is a way to pick the grill up and remove the grill um, without having to use the big glove. So this is the other tool that's included. And uh, huh. hmm. I have to figure this out. Ta -da! And just like that, we've removed the grill. And now, if I had firewood, I could just put firewood in here and I could start this over and generate this into something better for maybe doing fires. But it comes with these two little handles that are really cool and pick this up and move this. So. Little twisty action. And so these two handles are designed to come right in here. And I can pick this up and remove it. It's very stable. Um, but it's also there for doing fire. So Warm Bond has done a lot of thought processing and researching and come up with an ideal stove and also fireplace. Because ideally that's what we're looking for is a fireplace and a stove that does both. Um, so if you're looking into something to put in your RV or have at home, um, I would say that these guys have hit all of the numbers and um, they do a couple of things that are unique and uh, look forward to using this out on the road well there it is um, I forgot to mention one of the things that's interesting um, is that it's been cooking all day well not all day but for a few hours the top is hot or warm to the touch there's still heat on the inside but the outside shell is actually warm barely warm to the touch it's actually even cold um, I don't think I would do that if it was um, filled with firewood, but um, with the charcoal bricks in the center, um, it seems to be a great way to cook and not have to be too worried about things like people getting burned, um, animals or young kids running around and putting their hands on the side of it. Um, it cooked the hot dogs fast. Um, I slow cooked the hamburgers because I needed to and uh, it did a great job. So the Bond stove uh, brought to you by Warm Bond. Um, like I said, they hit all the numbers 
Um, they did their research and they did a great job of providing a really cool stove um, and fireplace so that you can have something for the um, campsite. It's a nice little fire pit. The interesting thing is, is with it burning like that. <clears throat> come around to the other side where there's some light. And my hand is on the side. You can feel some heat. Like right in the corner. And closer to the top. But the actual side down here is actually cold to the touch. And so, it works really well as a fire pit. I'm not sure how much heat it puts out other than like if you're doing s'mores or um, something along those lines. But as a stove, uh, as a grill, it worked awesome. So that's that for our little Bond stove. So, we really liked it, and uh, we look forward to using it out on the road. That's it, YouTube. Another review from Nothing Adventure, Nothing Gained. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and go to nuttingadventured.com and uh, join our newsletter and sign up and join us. Maybe even buy us a gallon of diesel. We'd really appreciate that. All right, we'll talk to you soon.